In this video, let's see a numerical problem which is based on this standard form. If you have any numerical problem which can be categorized into either the upper form or the lower form, you will solve it the same manner, that manner which I will teach you in this question. This question is in your NCR ERT books too and we are going to see it like that. Ax plus b whole raised to the power n px dx and px dx upon ax plus b whole raised to the power n that is the form that you can easily compute and understand. But now how to do this kind of a question? First of all you might be worried about how to go about x raised to the power 1 by 2 and x raised to the power 1 by 3. In fractions things become difficult for us, right? So for these type of questions you have to see what is here 2 and what is here 3. So you have to basically take the LCM of 2 and 3. Now what is the LCM of 2 and 3? It is 6. If the LCM of 2 and 3 or these things which I have actually tick marked upon is coming out to be 6 or a number, what to do with that number? Now let's see. So I write solution and let's understand how to do this kind of a question. I will write LCM of 2 and 3 is equal to 6. So what I have to do? So my substitution will be such that my x has to be taken with the help of this LCM. Why? Because if I substitute x as t, so it will become t raised to the power 1 by 2, t raised to the power 1 by 3. But again the fraction would not go. We want a whole number or a natural number. Not a whole number probably, a natural number so that the fraction goes away. So what I do is, I substitute my x raised x is such that t raised to the power that what is the LCM. Now see my question changes. First find dx also. So dx is nothing but 6 t raised to the power 5 dt. If this is your equation number 1, this is your equation number 2. If my question can be taken as i, now i would be easier to explain it. So i is what? i is integration of dx. What is dx? dx is nothing but 6 t raised to the power 5 dt upon x raised to the power 1 by 2. Now x is your t raised to the power 6. So x raised to the power 1 by 2 is t raised to the power 6 multiply 1 by 2 which is nothing but t cube and similarly x raised to the power 1 by 3 is t square. Now see, now t square is among the, can be taken as the common amongst these. So it is 6 t raised to the power 5 upon t square as common and inside it is left as t plus 1. Now cancel whatever cancels. So you have 6 t cube. So it is nothing but 6 t cube wherein 6 is a constant can be taken as outside and it is t plus 1 dt. Now if this question is till here only, till here I have understood rest part, these type of questions we have already done. Denominator and numerator, see the degree, the degree of the numerator is greater than that of the denominator so you have to go for long division. So t plus 1 and t cube is there. So if I have t plus 1 and t cube 2, how would the division go about like? So it would be nothing but t square here, so it is t cube, then it is minus, then this cancels away, right? And I know that this would not benefit until unless I treat this one. So what I do is, for that, in the next step, I have 6 although outside, I make it t cube plus minus 1 upon t plus 1 dt. Just for the sake of understanding that I need to solve it further. Now let me take t cube plus 1 together. So here also it will be t cube plus 1, right? So now, here I have t square treated as like that, then 1 into t square is nothing but what? It is t square. Now signs would be changing, this becomes minus, so it is minus t square plus 1. Now again, t is here, minus t square is here, so it is minus t. So it is minus t square plus t. Again you change the signs, you know how to do long division. Then it is nothing but minus t plus 1. Let's see what changes should be there in the sign. See, t cube plus 1 was there. So it is t into t square which is making it t cube. Then 1 into t square is nothing but t square. So it is minus, this is plus, minus t square plus 1. Then I have plus t is 
there and it is minus t square so t into minus t is minus t square and 1 into minus t is minus t so this was a mistake it should have been minus t so let's make it minus t and when you have minus t over here the moment it has to come down it will be changing its sign so it will become t plus 1 and here also it is plus 1 so it is t plus 1 and in short you will be cancelling it to obtain the quotient t square minus t plus 1 completely divisible now 6 already there t q plus 1 when treated with t plus 1 gave me what it gave me t square minus t plus 1 and minus 1 upon t plus 1 is already there as it is and whole thing should be now integrated with respect to t so let's see what is the answer here outside it should be 6 what is the integration of t square with respect to dt t cube by 3 it is minus t square by 2 it is plus t you know how i have done it minus log t plus 1 plus c and now let's put the value of t from which equation from the equation number 1 so it becomes 6 t cube t cube would be what it will be nothing but obtained when i divided by 2 so here also it should be divided by 2 so it is root x by 3 minus t square divide by 3 here so here also divide by 3 it becomes x raised to the power 1 by t upon 2 plus t what is t x raised to the power 1 by 6 minus log t plus 1 what is t again x raised to the power 1 by 6 plus 1 plus c which is the constant of integration and that whole is the answer you don't have to leave the answer in t it should be left in x and that is how you do this kind of a question.